Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. We are really, really appreciative. Hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to this speech of Ami Didat is shocking. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. With your own daughter, that's incest. With your own sister is incest. With your daughter-in-law is incest. Now you know what's incest. <laughs> he says, you know, incest. He says here, the dark stain on our society, on American societies. 13%, 13 out of every 100 white people, American Christians, they commit incest with their own daughters. They sleep with their own daughters. As, using them as wives, their own daughters. There's no backward nation on earth who does that. He's saying, he's crying. And in this book, in this book, he's giving us that in the Holy Bible, there are 10 cases of incest. In this holy book. As if this is a textbook on incest. If you want to know what, what type of incest you can do, get this book. It will tell you 10 different cases of incest. Son, father, cohabiting with his daughters is here. Son with his mother is here. Father-in-law with his daughter-in-law is here. Brothers and sisters are here. In this holy book. But they want to push this down your throat. He said, you're going to go to hell with this Quran. You see, you haven't got it. You must put this book away and take this down. We will teach you 10 different types of incest. We will teach you. This Quran can't. Wallah, it can't. There is not a single case of incest in this book to tell you. You know, you can do this and that and that and that. There is nothing here. But they are telling you, get rid of this book. Get this and it will take you to heaven. And it will take you to hell here and hell in the hereafter. Both. Jahannam both ways. Here, you will be in hell. 8% of the whites of South Africa, they commit incest with their own daughters. 8%. That's what they tell us. Maybe more, but they tell us 8% of the white people in South Africa, Christians, they are committing incest with their own daughters. Americans, 13% they commit incest with their own daughters. And that nation is worried about you. They want to take you to heaven. They are in hell now, and they want to take you to heaven. Homosexuality. Homosexuality. This is written by the Christian. Homosexuality. There's another one called Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, Luther Salam, his people, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. He says here at the end of one of these two books, he says, America. He says, America, he says, God will judge you. This is what Swagat says. Oh, he's master. Master of speech. The way he does it, beautiful. He says, America, he says, God will judge you. If he does not judge you, he's destroy you. If he doesn't destroy you, say he might have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah for what he had done to them. You know, we read about Kamilut, Allah destroyed them. In other words, Allah destroyed them for this, unnatural lust. For that, Allah destroyed them. Says, you, if God doesn't destroy you, he'll have to apologize. I'm very sorry, you know, I treated you too hardly. God will have to apologize. Make Toba to Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what he says. In other words, you have gone to such lengths. 300,000 sodomites, Kaumilut, they gathered in San Francisco on a pilgrimage, led by 50 lesbians and motorcycles. And they want to save you. No, they want to corrupt you. They want you to be like them. Then they know you have no chance of ever ruling them. The Muslim world has got no chance. If you behave like them, you will go the same way that they will go. Otherwise, you are destined to rule the world. Allah is telling us in the Quran, He has given you a deen, He said, you a hero who Allah deen a kulli. A deen that is to master, overcome and supersede them all. Kulli. Whether it be Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianism, Communism, every ism, Islam is destined to master them all. So, kafa billahi shahida. And enough is Allah is a witness to this fact that is going to make His deen to prevail with you or without you. But this is the test. How to undo that destiny. Very easy. Come and corrupt you. We want to teach you. You people don't know how to dance. Huh? See, look at every Christian nation. In Africa, they shake their bumps, just like the white man. Same, worse. Striptease. They do striptease. You know that? Christian nations. They want you to do the same. What is this clothing you're wearing? You know, this Africa, you know, you must be lightly dressed. 
See in South Africa they're wearing skins. Now they don't wear skins, they wear bikinis. There's tangas. I think you see some of them here. You know, tangas, G-strings. Just a G-string is enough for them. Huh? That's all right. <laughs> Even that is not necessary. You know, for your climate. Look, the humidity, I have to take off my jacket. Yeah, they want to destroy it. So this guy, Thomas Carlyle, he says he's doing justice to the Holy Prophet Muhammad and he did some justice because there was no fear. And he says, the word of such a man he says, to the Arab nation, to the Arab nation, it was as a birth from darkness into light. This book of God, this Quran, this Wahi, this revelation, this message that Muhammad brought, it is as a birth from darkness into light. This Arabia first became alive by means of it. A poor shepherd people, a poor shepherd people, roaming unnoticed in its desert since the creation of the world. Nobody gave them a second look, those barbarians, the Arabs. Nobody gave them a second look. Alexander the Great, if you read history, he passed them by. Rubbish. He'll say, I know these Arabs are rubbish. Nobody's interested in that. The Persians passed them by. The Romans passed them by. Every nation just passing them by. Rubbish, human rubbish. Liability, anybody will take them up, it'll be a liability. This is a poor shepherd people. Roaming unnoticed in his death since the creation of the world. See, the unnoticed becomes world notable. The small has grown world great. Within one century afterwards, Arabia is at Granada on this hand, at Delhi on that. Glancing in valor and splendor and the light of genius, Arabia shines over a great section of the world. His belief is great. Belief, Iman, Yaqeen is great. Life-giving, the history of a nation becomes fruitful, soul elevating, great, so soon as it believes. Is it, is it not as if a spark had fallen, one spark on a world of what seemed black and noticeable sand? But lo, the sand proves explosive powder, blazes heaven high from Delhi to Granada. This is what Muhammad's teaching did. I am asking, who bribed Kala? No. Testimony, greatness, really lies in coming from the mouth of the enemy. What the enemy has to say, we can say good things about our hero. Great things, exaggerations we can. Everybody can. But when it comes from the opposition, it's the opposition, the opposition, what he's telling you, confirming what Allah says, وَإِنَّكَ لَا عَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ So most certainly thou Muhammad, spend us on the highest pinnacle of behavior. An interesting speech worth taking notes here and there and um, many people are going to differ with a lot of things that he said, you know. It's always countries up there that want to tell you this is the way while they're doing something and trying to make it seem right for you. You don't have to change for anyone. You don't have to accept what they're accepting wherever they are. They don't have to enforce their culture on you, their language on you or whatever it is. That's why for one part, many people are appreciating the Quran because it's still in its original language, you know. Many people are appreciating um, uh, certain people in Africa that have still continued to celebrate their culture till today. Well, and he made a comment about Africans just dancing. That's something that Africans are doing, yes. But um, I don't know. I'm trying... Africans do dance a lot, but then what if it's part of our culture, you know? There's many things you can relate that to, but then just don't dance while your friends are getting information, they're learning, educating themselves and moving while you're still dancing to the, to the tune of your poverty, you know? There's so many things you can relate this to. So yeah, that's that, but you guys can jump in and let me know what you think about this great speech that was given. Some people are going to disagree with it, some people are going to agree, some people are going to be, I don't know, in between. Let me know what you think. If there's anything you want me to react to, let me know down below. Just give me the name or the link and I'll check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.